Virginia Ellen Sims, known to audiences as Jenny Sims, was born on May 25th, between 1912 and 1915, outside San Antonio, Texas. The hot rolling plains around the city of just over 100,000 were a far cry from the Hollywood limelight that would encompass Sims decades later. In 1921, her family moved to Fowler, outside of Fresno in California's fertile Central Valley, where her father eventually got a job as a member of the California Highway Patrol. There, Sims' parents bought a piano, and her life's direction was set. She sang and performed around Fowler and was a drum major with the Fowler Band before graduating from Fresno High School. At 17, Sims enrolled in Fresno State College with the plan to major in music and become a teacher. After joining a sorority, Sims joined with two sisters, Ann Pekarovich and Nona Kenister, to create a musical trio, The Triad in Blue. They wasted no time getting engagements at every Greek and civic function that would have them. At the same time, in 1931, Sims got her first radio experience as a contralto vocalist over the Fresno B radio station. During the trio's first summer vacation, the three traveled to Los Angeles and auditioned around every radio station where they could get in the door. Meeting with limited success, the girls returned to Fresno for their sophomore year. But Jenny had become determined that she was good enough to make it a professional go of it. The following summer of 1933, the trio again spent the summer in Los Angeles. The triad had new outfits, new arrangements, and more confidence. Most confident of all, Sims began stepping out with some solos. Hired by a local beach club, the girls gained more experience that summer. But Sims felt a pang of disappointment when the engagement came to an end. When club management asked her to audition as a soloist, her partners encouraged her to give it a try as they were planning to return to school in the fall regardless. Sims chose the song, I've Got a Right to Sing the Blues, for her audition, and the person overseeing the audition was none other than Kay Kaiser. Professing that he wished he could afford to hire Sims for his own orchestra, he recommended her to the club management. Supposedly, Kaiser asked her out on a date, the spark of a relationship that was speculated about for years to come. That audition led to a spot in a trio on a Guy Lombardo program while he was touring the West, followed by a stint with Tom Guerin's band beginning in February of 1934. Her work with Guerin took her across the country to New Orleans, Houston, and Chicago. In late 1934, Sims again ran across Kay Kaiser, this time in Chicago where they were both performing in different venues. Successful enough now to afford a singer, Kaiser immediately hired Sims, and their popularity quickly grew in tandem. For the next several years, the tabloids and gossip columnists puzzled over whether Sims and Kaiser had married in private, but nothing was ever publicly acknowledged. Sims spent the rest of the 1930s fronting Kay Kaiser's orchestra for the concert dates, radio shows, motion pictures, and recordings. In 1941, Sims left Kaiser's outfit for a solo career and found no shortage of radio work over the succeeding years. Among her premier shows were the Bob Burns Show, Johnny Presents Jenny Sims, The Comedy Caravan, and two different runs of the Ginny Sims show. During the 1940s, she appeared in a further handful of films and became known during World War II for her dedication for putting on performances for servicemen and helping them further upon their return from the war. Even after marrying Hyatt Von Den, the founder of the Hyatt Hotel chain in 1945, Sims continued her regular radio work into the early 1950s when she replaced Margaret Whiting on Jack Smith's The Tide Show for the 1951-52 season. 
After a brief second marriage to oilman Bob Calhoun and retiring from touring and performing, Sims began cultivating her interests in design and decoration with her third husband, Don Estevad, developing and decorating properties and resorts throughout the country. Their company was eventually named World International Vacation Club. In 1960, Sims received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for her work in radio. She had two sons from her marriage with Von Den. Sims would die from a heart attack on April 4, 1994, in Palm Springs, California. She was 80 years old. This synopsis was written by Ryan Ellett with information from the Fresno Bee, the LA Times, the Radio and Television Mirror, and various California newspapers. For old-time radio researchers, I'm your announcer, Patrick Andre. Thank you for listening.